Project Wildfire continues with the release of Skeleton Dome. Lokster's in the chat, so Loke, of course, if you want to add any fun facts or tidbits while we're playing through the level, uh, go ahead, my man. Thank you so much for making this, and uh, let's check it out. Skeleton Dome. Lovely little intro scene right there. Oh, looks like I'm not supposed to hold forward in that cutscene. I've actually never played... Sonic in the Secret Rings past Sand Oasis. So this is all, this is pretty much an entirely new level to me. I love the snow aesthetic. I don't really see the, the whole deal with the skeletons yet though. <laughs> Seems kind of weird. I guess that's just some of the consequences of remaking Secret Rings is a lot of straight, I mean, obviously the game's on rails and there's a lot of scripting, I would assume, especially around these sections, so... I could understand. Doesn't see the skeletons? What skeletons? No, I'm pretty sure I was just riding on a vertebrae right there. Oh, I'm sure this was a section you would, uh... have to run back to. Ooh, okay. Looks like there was, uh... not a convex collider used on the skeleton ridges here. Very cool stuff. The snow falls very slowly. The level was hell to make. Oh my goodness. I can imagine, honestly. Like, some of the later stages in Secret Rings, I'm sure, are just so complex. Like, Evil Foundry. How do you make a PO6 custom stage? That is an insanely loaded question. I hope one day I'll be able to answer it for you, but I am not on the... Uh, I am not uh, the authority on that. I would recommend... Uh, joining the PO6 Workshop Discord. I'll go ahead and link it in the YouTube video as well. If you're interested in the PO6 custom stages, playing them or making them, you should definitely join that Discord because uh, it's got all the resources and everything you'd need. And I hope one day after I make a stage that's worth a damn, I can make some tutorials on how to get started with the stage creator. But uh, back to the level we're talking about here, getting into some more caves. It's pretty cool. Things look pretty cool. Ow. <laughs> oh, the swinging buzz, buzz saws. I guess that's part of the stage extensions mod. Yeah, I guess also in order to play this stage, uh, it says on the download site that you need it, but the stage extensions mod is also uh, needed for like these things to hurt you and stuff because they're not objects within PO6. Like maybe, yeah, so I said beats if you want to link to the Discord. Uh, the PO6 Workshop Discord, you can. If not on my other custom stage videos, I'm pretty sure I put it in the description for that. Ooh, hold up. I want to stop and look at this. Get out of my away camera event. Definitely at the end, at the end of this, I want to go into photo mode and kind of look around to see the views and stuff and kind of how the level looks. I think it'd be pretty fun to do. What is it? Arson Pie? Our Senpai Tawa. Thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Getting us 13 followers away from 1,000 in that Retail 06 stream. Can we get it before the two-year anniversary, folks? Can we do it? Those who are wondering, my two-year streaming anniversary is January 21st. You missed the cool path in the beginning? Oh, we'll speed run. I like doing, like, kind of a casual playthrough where I just kind of mess around in the level and then we'll, you know... Try to break it on the next one. But it's very cool. I mean, you're killing it on the visuals, man. For sure. I know it's like a ported stage and everything, but even still. Like, utilizing EO6's lighting, or I guess, well, Unity's lighting engine and stuff to really make these stages feel alive is awesome. And, uh, <laughs> I could probably learn a thing or two from you guys when it comes to that. Ooh! Yo, what is this? What? That's so cool. Can you go back? You can't go back, but oh shit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, if you're on the YouTube, I'll, I'll meet you back there. Okay, here we are. Finally, back at the skeleton thing. Very cool. Uh, you teleport. I would love to see, like, a purple, like, poof animation or something there. Oh, another one? 
Let's go. Oh, this is a very, very pretty part of the stage. Again, I have never, or at least, I mean, I haven't watched a Secret Rings Let's Play in a while. Um, so, like, all of this is basically new level to me. So, it's very, very gorgeous. Wow. The lighting is fantastic! Maybe I, it's because I spin dashed into it or something? Something doesn't seem quite right here. <laughs> uh... Wait, so am I supposed to go in this one? Oh, I was. Huh, that was weird. I guess it didn't send me to the right spot or something? <laughs> These are always interesting. He turned to me going, wow, to me trying to figure out how to not break the level. <laughs> oh, this is a super cool room. Wow. I like all the treasure. Can I stand on it? Oh, I can. Casinoopolis, eat your heart out. These kind of look like the Casinoopolis rings, but I assume they're back from the thing. Oh, and isn't that like the boss or something in the back there? That's really cool. We've hit the jackpot. We don't need it anymore. But yeah, that was Skeleton Dome. So uh, let's try speed running it, eh? Uh, alrighty. Let's go ahead and try a speed run here. I'm going to go for the alternate route and we'll see if it's a little bit faster. I hit the glass room at 108 that time. So as long as the scripting works as intended, we can uh, give it a shot here. So what you want to do to take the alternate route is just hit this spring and then take these grind rails. And then I've found the best way to go through the scripting is to just wait at the dash panels and let go and let the scripting take away and see this really cool set piece. Go Sonic, go. Ah. Uh, it really is a secret ring stage. <laughs> it's very cool though, and definitely very impressive. I'm sure that scripting took forever <laughs> to make. Uh, I don't really think I need the purple gem because this route doesn't take. Oh yeah, we that was definitely faster. Unfortunately, a little bit less skill on my part, but uh, definitely faster. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna destroy those guys and maybe this guy. Just to get one charge of the purple gem here as we uh, try to do a little bit of speed running strats and make it to the bottom. I see it. I'm just going to go backwards and jump down here. Not the fastest way to do it, but definitely the safest way. Did I miss a uh, Q? I did. All right, let's head on in. Don't touch anything going to the teleporters. This level still has some work to be done, which isn't a bad thing, of course, you know. All first releases are like this. It looks like the, uh, they spawn you. I guess maybe it would be better to just, like, 180 these sections of the stages. Just so Sonic appears in the same direction, Loke. Most pretty stage I've done? I don't know, man. This stage looks really, really good. All right, 210. See if you can beat that. <laughs> oh my goodness.